we wanted to bring your attention to a story that's been reported in Germany tonight, and it's also been picked up in England and indeed here, that it appears that, remember the Super League, it hasn't gone away, you know, and it appears it's being reported that the Super League is back on. There is a, a court case coming up in the European Court of Justice, but these are the main points of what's been released this evening. And, and Didi, I, I don't know if you want to talk us through these, the qualifications through domestic league position. The organisers, they had a court case in Madrid, first of all, um, the European Court of Justice is going to be involved, but have a look at that. The reduction in the number of games, 20 members, no permanent members is the big thing. This is what they are proposing now. Well, uh, the biggest thing for me is the second point here, qualification through domestic league position, which means we still have a Premier League, we still have a La Liga in the Serie A and the Bundesliga. Yeah. And it's just, uh, it's just a matter how you fit a league with 20 members in. Um, and, and the domestic league as well, where you've got 18 or, or 20 teams. So that's the, the big yeah. question mark. And the other thing is, will there still be a Champions League if we do get that uh, Super League? Well, these are just reports. We have to emphasise that. Nothing set in stone at all. The, the people who've, who've uh, reported on this information tonight say there will be more information coming in, in the coming weeks. Um, this is just straight taking on the UEFA Champions League, isn't it, Richie, from looking at those... It is, and I'm not surprised at all. I don't think any one of us should have thought that this has gone away because the Super League, when we found out about it, when it went public, we didn't hear about it in the early steps when it was just being mooted as an idea that some clubs maybe were going to discuss. They had discussed it for months. There was a contract that they signed and they publicly backed the proposal and it was something they were going to do. So there, there's... A, a, a huge kind of weight of support behind this from the clubs. And you can understand why, because of self-interest, which seems to be the only currency at the moment in football, it's all anyone ever thinks of. There's a huge amount of money to be made. The biggest clubs are the ones that are going to make it. But it's the ripple effect of this. I could see why they've done this. No permanent members, which now supposedly shuts everyone up who was complaining about the football pyramid and sporting integrity and all of that kind of stuff. But it's the ripple effect. Yeah. Like, will the clubs who are going to compete domestically and in the Super League, is there room in a calendar to still take part in the domestic cups? Will there be an interest to do that? Will there be UEFA qualification anymore in the, in the major leagues? What will the UEFA competitions yeah. look like? And where, will, will the top clubs, will all the broadcasting and commercial money be funneled just well, into these top two sure. leagues of 20 teams? We do have to emphasise these are just reports. These clubs, according to the reports, would stay in their domestic leagues and then go into another version of the UEFA Champions League. There will be more uh, about that in the coming weeks.